cows that I've found. I call the cows, and then there was an entrance to the right. But then I kind of reached out, didn't feel like a, like a doorway. So I went in and I allowed Ryan to go in with me. And halfway down, I said, man, I think this is just a, a whole different room. But then when I came back out, I noticed it wasn't a whole different room. It was just another area there, just a couch. just made it feel like that. That's, that's a good point. If we came up and we're doing a search of a house, single family home, is it okay to send one firefighter in the bathroom and stay at the doorway? Yes. Yeah. yeah, it's perfectly safe to do that. If I'm in the hallway, we're coming down the hall, we're making a push on the hallway, doing a search. Feel the tile floor. We, we feel the change in the tile floor, right? We know we're in the bathroom. Hey, Steve, go in there, search that bathroom real quick, come back out. You know, go in there, he goes in there, searches real quick, comes right back out, we continue our search. I don't think you can see in there what all the masks blacked out. No, but I, I, I figured there's no cracks saying. and stuff like that. You figure when your eyes start to... Yeah, accommodate. towards the end, we were fumbling with that with that hose pack for so long that I just went, you know, yeah. is this a fucking patient or not? Because we thought it was just holes or since you said a mannequin. I thought, well, yeah. I would is this it or not? I to have the smoke machine be able to smoke that whole room out. Just yeah. with the smoke machine and just do that drill. Ideally, would be when we're doing it here in the burn can, have, have the actual plastic fire to do it. Do it Question. Do you you go north, south, east, and west? Because I noticed you said south side. Did you just do it? That's what I thought. Whatever. Well, we, I, when I we opened, the, when I opened that window, side. I had to go like side. this. Because I, oh, okay. I couldn't know where I was south. So I kind of went like that and I saw the academy here while I was like this. Is south side. We never there. really determined the A side. But if you want to go take well, it, it's always the entrance. That's where we made entry. You know? Well, south, <laughs> south, north, east, west, you can't go wrong with that. Go wrong with that. Right. that doesn't change. Well, that's what I'm saying. You were right. You were south side. I don't so know, I north, south, east, west. Right. The, the, the ground crew, for those of for Raleigh and Rhino who are in there, it's, it's, it's critical to be ready for wherever the search team is. You know, if you, 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 you're basically at their disposition. You know what I'm saying? Don't get that ground ladder until you have more information for them. What about if even and what about if even you had that victim and they were on the third or fourth floor? If you put a strap around the chest. Just as a I mean just as a support in case something something happened to him. You could, around the chest with the webbing. Exactly how Mikey was, and I don't put the ladder from the back, I put it from the front. Mm -hmm. 
because I have full view of what's going on. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not with my back turned to the fire. If guys are going to shoot falling out or whatever, I want to be in a position where I can look at the fire and I can see what's going on up there, and at the same time still putting the ladders perfectly safe. The other way to do it is, if you bring out, if you bring out 24 footer above the window, everybody's got a harness, a red uh, webby, and just made a quick harness out of it, hasty or whatever, and we brought them down, swung them underneath the, the ladder, on that with the rope, and just lowered him down. If, if time allowed. If time goes into the house. If you put him in a hasty harness, you and I both know, we've, we've done it in rope rescue, it holds you to yes. three harness. My control was for them to get uh, caught up in the ladder with him. If you swing him out, you swing, if you have that rope coming over, and you swing him out, and bring him down, and run your rope through your rungs, that's your, that's your, basically, that's your bar right now. Right. The way it's sliding him down that ladder, well, the mistake everybody makes, they think they got to take all the weight of that guy in their arm. You slide him down. You're not hardly any weight on your ladder. Your own, your own body's pinning him on the ladder. And that's just a great I mean, Really, running. I don't give a shit if they're 280 pounds. You're not carrying them down yourself. You have the legs around here, don't you? They're hiding just keep the rocks. At that point, who cares? They're out. Listen, this is what I told Pops. I got a little scared when I'm there. What happened to you in the ladder? Did you get an arm? No, he was well, off. I, he was on me, and I did a leg lock. lock. So in order to get my leg lock off, I had to come back up, yeah. push my body up. That's when I asked him to pull me up because my hand wasn't reaching that rung anymore. So I needed that little oh, bit. Oh, you did a leg lock. Whoa, what's up, bro?